Today we are making a French baking classic, the creamy and sugar crusted creme brulee. Today I will be making three different flavors of creme brulee, vanilla, coffee, and amaretto. So to start off this recipe we will separate the yolks from three eggs and place them in a large glass bowl. Then we will add a half cup of sugar. Whip the egg yolks and the sugar together until they lighten in color and the sugar has mostly dissolved. Now we can focus on the creme part of our creme brulee. So in a medium sized pot, place two cups of heavy cream and bring it to a simmer. Now it is time to add our flavor. So to our cream we will add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and stir before taking the cream off the heat to cool for 10 minutes. After our cream has cooled we can begin adding it to our eggs slowly to avoid cooking the eggs. Once our cream has been added and our mixture is smooth, we can transfer it to a measuring cup to more easily pour into our ramekins. Now, creme brulee is baked in a water bath, so I grabbed a large baking pan to hold our ramekins. The mixture can be evenly split into six ramekins or four if your ramekins are slightly larger. Then place the whole pan into the oven and pour boiling water into the pan until it is around halfway up the ramekins. Then just bake at 325 degrees for 40 minutes or until it is set with a slight jiggle in the center. Once our creme brulee has been baked, the ramekins can be taken out of the water bath and placed in the fridge to chill for at least 3 hours. For our other two flavors, the process is roughly the same. For our coffee flavor, just substitute the vanilla extract with two tablespoons of instant coffee, and for our amaretto flavor, substitute with one teaspoon of vanilla extract and two tablespoons of amaretto liqueur. Then just bake and chill the same as the vanilla creme brulee. Now it is time for the signature aspect of creme brulee, and the part of this recipe that I have been dreading most, the caramelized sugar topping. Now the veterans of this channel know that the last time I used this blowtorch for my crepe cake recipe, well, it didn't exactly go so well. But I have made sure to read the directions very carefully this time, so it should be fine. Maybe. Anyways, enough putting it off. It's time to caramelize this topping. Okay, so that didn't work, but I refuse to be beaten by this oversized birthday candle. So let's try this again, with extra care and caution, and finish off our creme brulee. So today we made creme brulee. This recipe was super fun to make and it actually didn't require very many ingredients. Each flavor was delicious and unique and those are just the tip of the iceberg because creme brulee can have countless flavors, so feel free to try some of your own. And if you do, let me know how it goes. With that being said, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and consider sharing it with your friends. Otherwise stay tuned and I will see you next time with a new video. Bye!